Hey guys, Karis here. Nice to see you. Thank you for tuning in and helping me do this little bit of healing work if you so choose. I'm down in Southern California right now having a marvelous time getting lots of rest and getting some sleeps before the spring growth in and around. And I just did the Merkaba workshop today and it was amazing. So much growth. Thank you for those of you who came live. Mm, wow. I, I just love I just love that I'm looking after the work that I do. So good. So also you can find that on my website. The recording is there. So um, if you are called to that, but it's a specific technique. So it's one of those things that if you're not called to it, you know, it's no, it's fine. You know, it's more in specialization. But I've been getting all these downloads since because it's one way to activate your light body. And the one that I just got today, I think maybe you guys could help me with if you want to. And so it's about those of our kind, I guess, people who are intuitive, people who are empathic, people who um, see deeper as a matter of you just do. It's not that you, I mean, you can hone this stuff, but especially if it just kind of comes upon you, then the idea is to figure out how to work with it. And we've always been some segment of the population. You can go back and see like the witch burning times or the inquisition times and um, various various wars kind of that were fought between the ideologies and the way that certain weapons were taken out or we were taken out um, or sometimes we would win you know who knows it's a war right so the going throughout the ages between the archetypes and the one that I've been understanding just today just this afternoon is those of us who through the time where lobotomies would happen those of us who were lobotomized those of our of our brethren who were highly intuitive and highly sensitive and saw through dimensions, saw other things, stuff like that. There's a specific wound in the collective right now that I feel, I can feel it. And it's come to me very asynchronous in its ways. I could tell you ten stories about how it showed up in this movie and this person mentioned it and it was on this thing I saw, whatever, right? But and I'm feeling it and I think it's something to do with the Merkle activation, whatever, on my end. But on your end, what I would love is so the lobotomy is, was done when the fr front section of the brain was separated from the back section of the brain. So the person lived, it's, it wouldn't make them not be alive because the front section of your brain is just your higher order functions. It's your decision making and your intuition and your, your being really focused in the here and now, your cultural understanding of how to act on other people, social conditioning, stuff like this. Social graces as well, but also just functioning and that part of the brain would be essentially scrambled, really barbaric. <laughs> this was like, a, I don't know, 50s, 60s, 70s, I'm not sure exactly when, but this last century for sure, um, pretty recent. Still was there in the consciousness, still is, I think, or maybe not for long, right? So what would happen is um, the front would be separated from the back, and so there's this energetic line that runs through archetypally that our neurons are trying to connect with each other across so that we can be fully functioning at our brain capacity in this particular archetype, which is the intuitive, which is the sensitive, the one who sees through dimensions. So let's just heal that, maybe even right now, just focus on sending light all through your head, all through from your forehead and back, from the back of your head to the front, just heal, 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 and anyone else who this happened to, you know, just just sending all that light back to make it um, cohesive. Oh, here's Lilithia. Say hello to the people. Hi. <laughs> Dragon baby. Anyways, so you guys want to do that? Just, you know, if you feel it. I mean, I feel it, you know. So let's heal it <laughs> by feeling it and then saying thank you for the lesson. Don't regret anything. Wouldn't change a thing. But now I'm ready to get full functioning capacity back for us and all those coming after and however our wellness reach can reach. Okay, so you guys lots of love from Southern California and my travels are going to take me around a little bit more and I'm sending you just all the light and all the magical sunsets and all the abundance and good surprises and good luck. Sending you good luck. Yeah, bye.